All right, so I'm here in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. It sounds like a superhero character. And I've got a example of a form that was created and is now a PDF and you want to make it fillable. So after you've loaded it up here in Adobe Acrobat, you want to head over to either more tools if you don't see prepare form. So I'll just click on it just to show you guys, just in case you don't see anything like prepare form. So you click on more tools and then you're gonna see like all this other stuff and then click on prepare form. And then it's gonna say which one. So this is the one, it's the one that I have loaded up. So I'm gonna click start. And what's cool is Adobe Acrobat Pro has this option where it can detect uh, places that are fillable and if it can detect it, it's going to create a fillable box for it already rather than you having to do it manually. Now I will say it doesn't get it correct all the time, but most of the time it does and it's actually quite useful when it does get it correct. If it doesn't get it correct, you can easily delete it and manually do it yourself. So I'm just going to leave this here and it's called form field auto detection. It's on and I've left it on, but you can turn it off if you don't want it. So I'm going to click start. And you'll see now that it automatically pretty much did the fillable areas. So these were like boxes that were fillable. Now I just have to check this in the preview section to see if they did that correctly. All right, so yeah, it is done correctly. So as you can see, it even did this option right here where you can choose any numbers and this here area is fillable, although this font might be too large, so I would need to edit that. Let's say this didn't do it correctly. You would pretty much in here, these are all the tools here at the top that you need to make your form fillable in either like drop downs or fill in boxes, check boxes. So you can see that this did this one for me. But let's say here, this one, it didn't do this here. It didn't do name, date, and session so far. So basically what you would do is click on this, add a text field. If you hover over things, it'll let you know what it is. So this is checkbox. And you can also kind of tell. So this is like those circle things. They're called radio buttons. And then this is a list of choices. And this is a drop down list. And this is a add, adding a print kind of button or a clear button. This is adding an image field, adding a date field. And this is the option to add a digital signature. And you can add a barcode field. Not sure what that would be for. So let's do these ones real quick here. So these are just basic typing in fields. So I'm going to click this right here and then it's going to show up like this. And then you just drag it. Now you, you might need to zoom in so that you can see that you're doing it properly. So I'm going to zoom in some more actually, because it might not be exact. Actually, I'm, I'm too zoomed in. Okay. Name the field. I'm going to call it name. Okay. And that looks okay. So if you want to alter the properties of it, like font size and things like that, you go to properties. And then head to appearance and then right here the font size is 12 and then it's this font right here so you can actually change that they have a limited amount of fonts but you can actually make this smaller as well so after you're done you can just click close let's say I wanted a checkbox let's just pretend here for example I'm gonna click this I'll make my checkbox and then this is the date and then if you go to preview preview when you click on that that's when you you'll be able to test things out so you won't be able to test it while you're in the edit you're just clicking it and you can just move it around preview is where you can actually click on it and now it'll do a checkbox as well so that is how you add fillable form fields in adobe acrobat pro dc
All right, so once you have your PDF document, you wanna open it in Adobe Acrobat. So I'm just going to open it here. All right, so once you've got it open, you want to head over to the right hand side and click on fill and sign. Then it's gonna say who needs to fill and sign. So in this case, I need to fill and sign. I need to add my signature on this document. So I'm gonna click on me. And then it's gonna do something like this. You're gonna see this little cursor thing that says AB. And then this is where my signature needs to go. So I'm gonna click on this right here. And then I'm gonna click on this button right here with the squiggly and the pen. And then I'm going to click add signature. You can also do add initials. So I'm gonna click add signature. And then if it already pre-fills it in, you can go and just erase that. But I want to do, I wanna draw it out here. So now you can either use your mouse or if you have a touch screen. So I actually have my laptop as a touch screen. So I'm just gonna do like just a fake scribble here. So I'm just gonna go, meow, okay. Signature, boom, okay. So let's pretend that that is my signature. It is not my signature and pretend it is. And we click apply. Now it's going to go wherever your mouse is and you now need to place it where you want it to go. So I want it to go over here. So I'm gonna click. You can either make it bigger, smaller. I know I went the other way. Bigger, smaller, uh, maybe just like that. Then you can click out of it. And then there you go, you've got a signature. Now the cool thing is when you go back here to the sign squiggly thing, it's going to save your one signature. It's only going to save one at a time. It's not gonna save multiple if you need to have multiple people sign a document. It's just gonna do the one and then you can also do add initials. So it'll save one signature and it'll save one initial. Now, if you don't want this signature anymore, and let's say you've opened up a new document and it's someone else that needs to sign, then you can just click the minus sign here to get rid of it, and then you can add a new signature, but it'll still keep the one that you placed on your PDF document. So from here, you can just go ahead and save your document and send it to whoever needs it after you've signed it. And that is how you add a digital signature in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a text box in Adobe Acrobat. All right, so I've got my form opened up here, and if you need someone to create a form like this for you, my business partner is a great designer, and she creates all of these kinds of forms for other business owners. So if you want her contact, you guys can check out the description below. But when you have your form opened up here on your Adobe Acrobat, you wanna head over to prepare form and then click start. Now it's going to pre-fill in some things for you, but if it doesn't do it correctly, I'm gonna show you how to add a text box. So right now it's pre-filled in everything, but let's say it didn't do it correctly. To add a text box, you wanna head over to the top area and click on this area right here, add a text field. And then when you click on that, let's say I wanna add one here, you just drag it and then put your length and then you wanna add the name of that field. So what I usually do is name whatever like the sentences. So basic business documents. Okay, and then now you have a text field there. If you wanna preview it, head over to preview and you can click into it and type some things into it. Now, if you wanna change the font or the size, you wanna go back, click edit, and then you wanna double click on it, and it's gonna open up the, the text field properties. You wanna head over to appearance, which is the next tab over, 
and then it might say like okay 12 but you can change the font to whatever you want you can make it smaller or bigger I find that I need to make it smaller because the text sometimes is too big so you can do that here when you're done just click close so let's say I want to make it a lot smaller nine click close and then go back to preview start typing and then it's a lot smaller than before once you're done checking it out you can head back to edit and then you're back into the original form again another thing that you can do is you can also adjust the alignment of the text so if you double click on it and you head over to options right now it's align left so when you start typing it's going to start typing from the left hand side but let's say you want the typing to be in the center then you would hit the center and then click close and then go to preview then start typing and then it's going to start typing from the center once you're done, delete that, click edit, and then you're back into your document. So that is how you add a text box in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a checkbox in Adobe Acrobat. All right, so I've got an example form here, and you want to make sure that you're in the prepare form section. And you see here it says prepare form. And if you don't know how to get to it, just click on the more tools tab, and then you'll see prepare form. You want to make sure that you're in that mode and you'll know that you are in that mode because you can see all of these options up here. All right, so to add a checkbox, you want to head over to this icon here, which is the box with the check mark in it. Click on it, and then it's going to give you something like this, and then you want to make your box. So I'll do something like this, and you can name it as such. It'll do a, a pre-filled in name, so it's checkbox one. And then you can hit preview and then click on it. And then there you've got your checkbox. Now let's head back to edit and double click on the checkbox. It's gonna open up the checkbox properties. And when you head over to appearance, you can change some things. So you can change the line thickness can change the line style you can change the color of the checkbox so let's say if you wanted it to be red click close head over to preview check mark and then now your check mark will be red you can change it to whatever color you want I'm just gonna uncheck it head back to edit now there are some other things that you can do as well with this feature you can double click back into the properties head over to options and you can change the checkbox style. So you can have it be a circle, a cross, a diamond, a square, a star. So let's see what star looks like. Click close, click preview, click on it, and it's an actual star. Get rid of that, go back to edit, and let's check out what cross looks like. So I'm gonna click that, click close, head over to preview, and then it does an X. We'll uncheck that, head back. So that is how you add a checkbox in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to insert an image in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so I've got a test form here, and you wanna make sure that you are in the prepare forms tab and that you see all these tabs over here. And if you don't know how to get there, just click something like more tools and you'll see something like this and make sure that you're in prepare form. All right, so to add an image, you wanna make sure that you've got your form already here and let's pretend like we wanna add an image over here or something. So you wanna go up to the top and click on this one. It looks like a little picture, click on that. And then this little thing is gonna pop up. Let's say I wanna put the photo right here. You wanna make an area for the photo. So let's just say I wanna put it there. And then you can name it, whatever you want. Test image. 
And then to add the image, you want to head over to the preview section, and then you want to click on it, and then you want to select your image. So we're going to browse, and let's say I want to add this photo. That's the photo I want, click OK, and then that photo is now inserted in place on your form. Then you go back to edit, and then you can see that your image is there, go back to preview, and it's now part of your form. So that is how you add an image. You make sure that you're in the actual prepare form editing format. Grab this place where you want your image to be. It's like a placeholder for it, right? Name it accordingly, test, then click out of it, head over to the preview, click on this, browse for your image. Is that one there again? It loads up, click OK, and then there you go. You've got your image already in place on your form. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change a text field color in your PDFs. All right, so I'm here on the software, and you want to make sure that you're on prepare form. And if you don't know how to get there, click on the more tools and you'll see prepare form. Click on that and it'll get you to something that looks like this. So if you notice, these are like a standard light blue color. If you go to preview, that's just the standard color that happens when you make your form, your PDF form fillable. So to change the color, you want to double click on the text field. The text field properties is going to come up. Go to Appearance, and then you want to go to Fill Color and choose a different color that you'd like. So let's say something like that. You can add a border if you want, or just leave it as no color, and then it'll fill the whole thing with just this color. And you click Close. Now if you go to Preview, and you click on it, it will turn to the color. But then when you start typing, right, and then let's say you want to go to the second line, it'll turn back to the color. Now to not have this happen, go back to edit and make sure that after you fill in the color, you wanna make sure to head over here, this icon with the hammer and the wrench, click on more and uncheck highlight existing fields. When you do that and you go to preview, it's going to leave it on the color that you've got here. And so if we go to edit and I want this to be, uh, you can make them all different colors if you want. Let's say you want that color for that one, double click, and then you want this color. You can make them all different colors or the same colors. And then when you go to type, it'll still stay rather than it changing back to that light blue. So you see, if you still have that highlight existing fields checked and you go to preview it, it doesn't, like it's just gonna do a quick flash highlight of color, but it's not gonna stay and it's just gonna end up being the, the original light blue color. So make sure that you uncheck that and then it will stay in the colors that you choose. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove that standard blue fillable form fields in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so you know this standard light blue color that you get when you make your forms fillable? Well, you can actually remove that, remove the color while still making your form fillable. So if you go to preview and you have this form, you're gonna have this blue color everywhere. Now, some people don't want that kind of a color and they still want their form to be fillable. Before you do anything, make sure that you're in the prepare form tab. If you don't know how to get to it, head over to more tools, go to prepare form, and then it'll look like something like this. From here, after you've made everything fillable, you're done making your PDF fillable, you want to head over to the More tab and uncheck Highlight Existing Fields. And then it'll do something like this. It will still have the borders of everything where 
you have the fillable fields, but it will remove the color. And then when you go to preview, it's like a clean form. So you can still be fillable and then, but you won't have the color there. And some people want that. They want the clean look where it's still fillable, but you don't have this blue color everywhere. So again, back into edit, you want to make sure that you have that unchecked because if you check it, then you have the standard blue again. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a paragraph text box in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so I'm here in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and you want to make sure that you're on the prepare form tab and that you see these kind of options up here. Now to add a paragraph text box, which is different from a regular text box, you want to head over here to this text little icon here. And let's just find an, an area to do it here. I'll just do it over here. You want to make sure to make your paragraph text box large. That's usually what's needed. And then you just want to title it here, test one, you can title it whatever you want. And then head over to all properties. And then you want to head over to the options tab of this text box. And you want to make sure that it is multi line. If it is not multi line, then it's just going to be a regular text box and it won't allow you to make it into a paragraph format. So you need to click that and then click close. And then you can preview it by going to the preview section and then typing a bunch of things. You know, it's a little bit messy because it's on top of something, but you guys get the idea. Now, let me go back, click edit, and then I'm going to take away that option to show you what it's going to be like if you don't have the multi line. So I'm going to uncheck that because that's usually how the text box comes into play. It's just a regular text box. Multi line is what makes it into a paragraph. So I'm going to click close. And if you end up doing something like this, and then you go to preview and you go to test it out, when you start typing, let me just do something like that. It's just going to keep going on and you won't be able to click return or anything like that. Enter. And it's just going to look like that when you're trying to make a paragraph. So I'm going to just delete all this, click edit, and then you double click on it to get to the properties and then click multi-line and that's what makes it into a paragraph. So make sure you have that clicked on, click close, and then you're good to go. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a date slash calendar field in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so I've got a example PDF here and you want to make sure that you're in the prepare form tab and it's just right there. And if you don't know how to get to it, click on more tools and you'll see in forms and signatures, the prepare form tab. Make sure that you are in that tab. So let's say I want to add a date slash calendar field and I want to do it right here as an example. You want to head over to the top bar here and click on this one, which is add a date field. Click on that and then it's going to give you this thing where you actually need to create the size of the field. So let's just do it here for an example. Do something like this and then you can go to all properties and go to format that will give you an example of what the current format is. So as you can see here, this is how the example is when you first do a date field. You can change it up if you want your dates to be a certain way. And you can scroll through and see that there's a whole bunch of different variations that you can have depending on which order you want the month, day, or year. And then if you click close and then you go to preview, and you click on that, then a drop down is going to happen where you can choose the actual date. So let's say something like that, and then it will display it like that. 
If you click back to edit, you can change some other things. So you can double click on it, head to appearance. If you want the font size to be bigger, change the actual font, change the text color from black to another color. You can also head over to options and change the alignment of the text. So right now it's align left. So you can change it to the center if you want. And if you go click close and you go to preview, you can see that it's now going to be in the center. I'll just click edit to head back. So that is how you add a calendar date field in your PDFs in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add a video on your PDFs using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Once you are in Adobe Acrobat, you wanna make sure that you are in the paid version because sometimes it opens up in the free version. So make sure you're in the paid version with your PDF. This is just an example PDF here. And then to add video, you want to scroll down. And if it's not already showing, you wanna click more tools. The, the thing that we're trying to get to is called rich media, but if it's not already here, click more tools and you'll have a list of everything. And then you'll see rich media. You wanna click on that. And if you hover over it, it'll say add audio, video, and interactive elements. So we're gonna click on that. And then you'll see here, the rich media tab is on here, the bar at the top, and we wanna add a video. So I'm gonna click add video. And then let's just pretend that I want to add it over here as an example. And then from here, you're gonna to want to click browse and get that video file so that it can be embedded onto your PDF. So I'm gonna click browse. And I'm just gonna just choose this test video here. You can also check the show advanced options if you want to get more advanced with this. So as you can see here, launch settings on default, it says enable it when the content is clicked, which is ideally what you'd like. So you can play around with these settings if you want to get more in detail, but for the most part, you're just going to be adding the video as is. So I'm going to uncheck show advanced options, and then I'm going to click OK. And then the video is there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. The video is here and, it, and if you hover over it, it says click to activate. And then this thing came up here, 3D and multimedia co content has been disabled. Enable this feature if you trust the document. So I obviously trust the document. So I'm going to just do this, trust this document one time only. And now the video is playing. So that is an example of how you can add video onto your PDF documents using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Oh, and as a side note, if you guys need to get forms, PDFs designed, uh, my business partner designs and puts together worksheets so you guys can find her contact information down in the description below. So that's it. That's how you add video to your PDFs using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a text field required to fill out in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So I've got an example PDF fillable form here that I created. And when you are in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, you wanna make sure that you're in the prepare form tab and it'll look like something like this with all the fillable text fields. And to make one of these required, let's, for example, this one, you want to double click on your text field and then go to general and you'll see here common properties. You want to check required in order to make it required for people to fill out that particular text field. So I'm gonna click on that, click close, and then you'll see a red will appear around it. And if you go to preview, you'll also see the red around it. So it's got that red to make it visible for people to see that they are going to need to fill that particular text form in. So that's it, that's how easy it is. You basically just go to any 
text field, double click on it, make sure you're in the general tab, and then click the required, and then click close, and then it's going to make it red for you so that people will know that it is a required text field to fill out. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a drop-down menu on your PDFs using Adobe Acrobat. All right, so I'm here on a test PDF right now. This is just one of our gear guides here that we have. And you see this right here? This is the drop-down menu that I'm gonna show you guys how to create. So obviously, you know, this isn't an actual place where it goes, this is just a test. And then you can choose test one, test two, or test three, or whatever choices you want. So let me show you how to do this. All right, so you need to open your PDF and make sure that it is in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. A lot of people open it in the free version of Adobe Acrobat, but you won't have all these options here. Next, you wanna head over to the right-hand side and you wanna make sure that you're in the prepare form. If you are not, click on the wrench and the plus icon here and you'll see all these choices here. Click on prepare form what that's going to allow you to do is allow you to add a whole bunch of different things, including the drop down menu. You see, I'm on the prepare form. And from here, you want to go to this option, which is the drop down list option. When you click on it, it's going to do something like this. And this is where you need to decide where you want to place it. So let's just pretend like I'm putting it over here. And then you can just stretch it out however long or wide you want it and I'll do something like this. From here, you can change the field name, and I would recommend adding a field name if you have many dropdowns. For example, here it says cameras. Let's just put cameras because let's just pretend like I'm putting the dropdown over here. Once you put in the field name, you can head over to all properties. Now you can also check this, required field if you require the person filling out the PDF to fill out that question, then you can check that. Now we're going to head over to all properties where you're going to customize the drop down menu. So here you can alter the name again and where you add the drop down choices is in options. So here, like I did there, I just did test one then you click add these are the choices you want people to choose and test two click add test three click add and then i also like to add this last one where it shows in text form that the person needs to choose one so i put the words choose one because as you can see here, the last one I entered is test three. So, but if I add this, it's gonna say choose one and it's gonna initiate to the person filling out the PDF form that they need to choose one. Now you can rearrange these if you need to. So for example, if you wanted to move test three up one, it's now gonna be over there. If you wanted to move it back down, click down but whatever you put in last that's going to be the latest choice another thing that you can do is head over to the appearance tab and you can change the size of the font and change the font itself you can also change the text color as well when you're good with the choices that you've inputted for your drop down menu click close and then click preview and you'll see this is the one that we just did and it says the choose one text and then they click on it and then they can go like this and choose whichever one they want. And to go back, we just click edit. And if you want to change something again, just double click on it and it's going to bring up the properties for the drop down menu. If you guys need help designing PDFs, my business partner, Arit, is a graphic designer and she has designed hundreds of PDFs. You guys can find her information down in the description below. 
All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove sensitive information on your PDFs using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so first thing you wanna do is open up your PDF and make sure that you are indeed in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Now, this is just a sample document here. It's one of our gear guides for our YouTube channel. A lot of people always ask us what gear we're using. So this is just a document that we made and you wanna head over to more tools, scroll down until you see redact. You wanna click on that and you're gonna see you're gonna have a little cursor thing happening here. Whatever you highlight with this cursor, it's going to blank out. So what I would suggest is to create a copy of your document because once you make these changes, they are permanent. And once you're ready to blank out something, you literally just highlight it. So let's say I wanted to blank out this word here, cameras. I'm highlighting it and then it's gonna go red. And then let's say I want some of this text right here. It's gonna go red. And on an actual document, you know, you would be blanking out, for instance, names or addresses telephone numbers, amounts, you know, things like that that you don't want people to see. This is just test purposes here, so I'm just randomly highlighting things. And so let's say this part right here. So if you've highlighted something and you realize, oh, I don't actually want that blanked out, you can just hover over it, right click, and you can delete it. And then when you're ready, just click apply and it's gonna ask you, this will permanently remove and redact information from this document. Once you save this document, you won't be able to retrieve this anymore. So that's why I said you wanna make sure that this is actually what you want and to make a copy just in case. So then we're gonna click okay. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna save a copy of that. We'll just cancel that for now. And you'll see that it totally blanked it out and it has removed that sensitive information off your document. So now you can pretty much save this and send it out or use it however you want to. So if you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And again, I have a whole bunch more free tutorials, Adobe Acrobat tutorials for you guys down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.